Hello, 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 my beautiful boss slaymates. It is the video you all have been waiting for. I am so sorry that it took me two weeks to make this video, but as you all know, the climate in our country has been a lot um, combined with the pandemic that's been going on, the protesting and everything. It kind of, it just, it took an effect on me. So I was not able to, I just didn't feel like making something of this magnitude or minimum whatever you want to say but anyway and also i did not want to appear on camera no more with my hair all messed up i was just really tired of but today the salons were open in my city so um i was able to go up in there and get my hair laid so i don't have to be on camera with a hat on or a wig anymore you know just my normal natural hair i got my hair cut and i got my little sit press and my little natural hair is good to go honey Okay, so we are going to talk about um, accessory vendors and shoe vendors. These are the vendors that the most popular boutique Instagram, um, boutique Instagram, Instagram boutiques use, including myself. Um, so just like in the last video, I'm just going to tell you a few of them and I'll let you know a few things about certain ones that I feel like you need to know. So go ahead and get a pen, a pen, a pen and paper and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and give you all, I'm looking at, looking down at this by the way. I'm going to give you all the top 10 accessory vendors. Um, one of them, I'm going to go ahead and name it up first, is Ocean and Land. So it's Ocean and Land. And they are a fabulous, hands down, fabulous sunglasses vendor. Now, they are a little bit pricey, but I'm telling you it is worth it because the margins that you can have with these sunglasses is amazing. So even though it may be a little pricey to you, you can also up that price to your customer because... Those, I'm telling you, those sunglasses, they, they are different and they are also what's in demand. So first is Ocean and Land. Next, one of the most popular accessory vendors, if you are able to visit the LA Fashion District, I highly recommend visiting this particular vendor. It is called Fame, F-A-M-E, Accessories. They have everything you can think of and you all know those hats that everyone is buying, those uh, like fedora hats kind of, but you know, with the wide brims. Fame has a lot of those, but they tend to sell like very quickly. So you have to hit them up very fast. As soon as you see one of those hats, go ahead and get it because they sell quickly. But like I said, if you are able to visit the LA Fashion District, make sure you visit Fame. Next, we're going to go into LA Jewelry Plaza. So that's LA and then Jewelry Plaza. They are great for accessories as well. And they, I think they also have handbags. Um, Illord, that is I-L-L-O-R-D. They, um, you'll see them several times on Fashion Go because they sell, they used to sell shoes. I don't know if they have it all on one. They used to have three separate parts. It used to be Illord shoes, accessories, and I think it was clothing. So I don't know how they have it separated now because they tend to change it up some. But just if you see Illord, I-L-L-O-R-D, click on it immediately. Always trendy pieces, always things that's in they are a little bit pricey, but well worth it because the quality is amazing. So make sure you hit up Ill Lord. Next is Eco or Ico. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It is I C C O. They have a lot of accessories, um, including belts and things of that nature. If you have, including myself, because I sell these too, if you have seen any of those rhinestone belts that are in silver or gold, um, you can get them from there. I actually have gotten some from there as well. Next is Girly, G I R L Y. <laughs> They have, um, I think it was just sunglasses that were amazing. So hit them up for sunglasses. For handbags, make sure you hit up Bag Boutique. They have some great um, handbags that you will, you'll recognize a lot of them. They have a lot of popular handbags. And by the way, there are a lot of other handbag vendors on Fashion Go, but a lot of them have bad reviews. So I'm only telling you all ones that either I have ordered from or I've seen their stuff in person or I know other popular boutiques that I know for a fact use them. So that is what I'm doing. Um, there are a few up there that do have a lot of the trendy in bags. But like I said, being, if their review was lower than, a, if they had lower than four stars, I don't even look at them and shop for myself. So I would not give you all those type of people. Okay, next we have H&D Accessories. They have good handbags as well. Um, it was something else that they had and I forgot that I want to tell you all about. But when you go to Fashion Go, just go to H and D Accessories. 
Next, for a lot of hats, different type of hats, we're talking like the regular caps, fedoras, hats like these, hats with little sands on them. Um, if you know me, you know I love hats and sunglasses. Those are my two favorite accessories. Um, I cannot wear earrings. I'm allergic to earrings, so that's why I wear my hair down a lot. So that way, at least, you can't really see my ears. So yes, that is Cap Zone, Z-O-N-E. And the last accessory vendor I'm going to give you is called Anarchy Street. That is A-N-A-R-C-H-Y, and street is abbreviated S-T. They have a lot of accessories. One, you all will love them. So I'm going to go through those 10 accessory vendors again. That is Fame, L.A. Jewelry Plaza, Ill Lord, Eco or Ico, whatever it is, I-C-C-O, Ocean and Land, Girly, Bag Boutique, H&D Accessories, Cap Zone, and Anarchy Street. And disclaimer, I said this at the beginning of my other vendor video, forgot to say it before this one. If you do not have your stuff together, like your legal numbers, your business permit number, EIN, sales and use tax number, whatever is required for your state, you cannot shop these vendors, okay? And if you have a problem with that, then you're not a real boss. I said in the last video, real bosses do real boss shit. And so if you have a problem with shopping with a reputable vendor, then you don't want to be, want to be a reputable business person. Okay, so now we're going to move on to shoes. Oh, so I got to tell y'all something. There was one particular shoe vendor. Amazing shoes. Shoes that are always on point, And they started offering drop shipping. I love them. I've ordered from them before. Seen their stuff. So it was horrible. I'm in a group on fashion. Um, fashion. I'm in a group on Facebook. Um, and most of us that are in it, we order from Fashion Go. And this particular vendor, they have their own website as well as they have a spot on Fashion Go. And this particular vendor, I'm not going to name them at all. Never will. Sorry, y'all. But they had, uh, just put it nicely, they said some horrible things to about four different boutique owners who were all black women. So with everything that's going on, I am not going to be supporting any vendor, wholesaler, whomever that is not supporting this movement and or are being discriminate or saying horrible out the box things that you should not be saying to anyone of any race does not matter, but particularly to my women, to my black women or women of color, my Latinas and whomever else. Don't do that. So I really, I had them on my list y'all to give y'all, but then a bunch of ladies were talking about their experience that just happened with this vendor. So had to cross them off when I was going to let y'all know about them, how their shoes are, good quality, fast shipping, and they were starting to do drop shipping. But no, they lost my business. And so therefore, I don't want to let anyone else know about them. So I'm going to give you all top eight now. It was nine, but top eight. And I'm going to tell you all a few little things about them. Now, keep in mind, if you've never ordered before, wholesale period of anything, MOQ means minimum order quantity. So that means um, vendors set their own M MOQs, meaning that you have to order this particular minimum amount in order to check out with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so number one is Grace Your Style. They have a MOQ of only $50. So literally that's like one case of shoes. And by the, by the way, they also have some kid shoes. So that's good too for those of you all who are looking for kid shoes. Grace Your Style has kid shoes as well as a $50 minimum. Next is Apple Blossom. They have awesome, I mean, just about any type of shoe you've seen on Instagram, Apple Blossom most likely has it as well as the next one I'm going to give you. But the good thing about Apple Blossom, not only are the styles that they carry, but they have no minimum. So you can just order whatever you want and you can still check out. That is a great thing. Next is Let's See Style. So that's another one that has a lot of trendy shoes. A lot of the shoes that you will see up and down your um, timeline. Um, they also have kids and they have men. So they have, they have the whole family covered. And their minimum is $50. So one case, basically. And then 
Um, another good thing about them is that they have been on Fashion Go since 2012. So that's another thing you want to look at when you look at vendors on Fashion Go is see how long they have been in business or how long they've been on Fashion Go because that will also kind of tell you how long they've been in business. So you want to go with someone, especially when it comes to shoes, that has longevity. So they have been on Fashion Go since 2012. The next one is Victoria Fashion. They have kids as well. And they have been on Fashion Go since 2013. So let's see style and Victoria Fashion. They are the oldest out of all of the shoe vendors that I'm giving you. I'm sorry I keep moving this hair on my face, y'all, but my uh, stylist she she um, she likes to do my hair like this, and I don't I don't complain because I think it's cute. But sometimes it gets a little irritating. <laughs> so I'm sorry for y'all that would be complaining like she keep touching her hair. Let me see if I can put it back behind my ear. Okay. All right. So next is toes. Is it is it's toasty, but it's spelled T O E S dash T Y. So it's toasty. <laughs> Real cute. So T O E S dash T Y, toasty. Their minimum is $50. They are awesome too. I love their shoes. Next, no minimum is Thistle and Clover. That is T H I S T L E, Clover, C L O V E R. And once again, they have no minimum too. And then this one, hands down. Number one, everybody loves their shoes. You can only shop with them if you can find their stuff in different boutiques or um, I think City Trends actually sold their shoes before. I haven't been in City Trends in God knows how long, but I think they sell these shoes too. But this um, brand, this is a brand, is Liliana. I know y'all have seen their shoes and if not, just go to Liliana's Instagram and you'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen these shoes. And that is spelled L-I-L-I-A-N-A. And um, it's wholesale. So you just Google Liliana Wholesale. And you have to join that particular website. And you have to get approved to sell with them. So you apply and then you talk to their representative. And their MOQ is just, you just buy one style basically. But they are hands down the number one shoe vendor or shoe wholesaler, or manufacturer, whatever you want to call it. They are number one. So if you really want shoes that, that are unique, stick out, um, kind of hard for other people to get. Liliana is it. So uh, let's go through the list one more time. Grace, your style. Apple Blossom, Victoria Fashion, Let's, L-E-T, apostrophe S, C, S-E-E, -E, Style, Toes, T, Toasty, T-O-E-S, Dash, T-Y, Thistle and Clover, T-H-I-S-T-L-E, um, Liliana, oh, and I skipped one, sorry. And the other one is Wild Diva. I forgot about Wild Diva. Everybody's seen Wild Diva shoes. So Wild Diva, of course. And then, like I said, Liliana Wholesale. And it's L-I-L-I-A-N-A -A Wholesale. You have to go to Google and Google that. And it will take you straight to that site. All right, y'all. So those are the accessories and shoe vendors you all have been waiting for. Like I said, these are the vendors that popular Instagram boutiques use. I am fine with answering questions, but please do not get in the comments again, y'all. Ask me what vendor does so-and-so use. I am literally telling you all the vendors that major, like 98% of the boutiques of color of what, who we use. Okay. So it's like in the last one, people kept asking me who so-and-so's vendor is. It's the people that I said in the video. <laughs> and every once in a while, it may be someone that I didn't say that I meant to have said, but Nine times out of ten, I said it in the video. So these are the top ones. If you're looking for something and these vendors don't have it, it's going to be hard for you to find it. Okay. So next video, I'm going to be showing you all a little bit of behind the scenes. You'll get to see how I take photographs of myself. I actually took pictures of myself today um, in two different outfits in two different locations. So you all will get to see how I plan my photo shoot and how I take pictures of myself when my photographer is not available or if it's quarantine. And I just want to not, you know, be around nobody. I just want to do it myself. All right. So if you all can just do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell so you will know when I post that video. And by the time you all see this, I will most likely be at 1,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you all so, so much for supporting me. And those of you who have been here since when I was like at 20, 30, 40 followers, I'm sorry, subscribers. I want to thank y'all for hanging in there with me and I truly appreciate the support and I'm going to do a 1k giveaway, not giveaway, um, sale on my website. So make sure you click the link in the description box, the socialmillennial.net and sign up for the emails. I'm going to be sending out an email and letting everyone know what I'm going to do for my 
1K subscriber celebration or whatever. <laughs> all right, y'all. I will see you all in the next video. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. I've been giving out a whole bunch of tips. And I'm also doing an Instagram growth challenge. So make sure you all join my Patreon by Wednesday morning. So, uh, dang it. I don't have my calendar up here. I think it's, what's Wednesday? June 10th. So if you all join by June 10th, you join for a dollar. And I am going to... We're going to do a week-long challenge, and I'm going to teach you and show you whatever different tips and tricks that I actually do to grow my Instagram pages. I have five Instagram pages, by the way. So I'm showing you what I do to grow them. And at the end of the week, um, we're going to convene and talk and see who had some great results, what you learned, all of that stuff. And remember, it's only a dollar. So you can't go wrong with that. Nothing to lose. All the game. All right, y'all. Once again, I'm gone.